Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I will be turning this engine. It's a LEGO Predator 2 and 2 from JBay LEGO Master Tutorial. Before we turn it, let's run its stock. As you can see, it went from uh, 540 to 560 RPM. It runs kind of poorly with only one flywheel. But you saw this. And then, this performance kit. It contains all the necessary parts to transform the performance of this Predator. As you can see, I have a handmade plate. And let's take it out. We have a brand new pistons, we have valve seals, we have brand new springs, we have piston seals and other things we have, and we have a brand new throttle. Also a 3D printed flywheel, just as the throttle. So, let's start time lapsing it. But before, I will also calculate the price of one of those parts uh, if I was actually tuning a real predator and I will also calculate the total amount uh, with the engine. One of those predators nowadays would go for this price new. Okay, now let's start with it. So, the first mod will be adding the new flywheel. Also, at the end of these modifications, my target is to hit at least 600 RPM with this engine. Let's see if we can do it. Now, we just have to put this back again and Let's go to the next mod. This is the next mod. We will swap from this piston, a normal piston, to this piston. It's a lot more reinforced and has uh, less friction. And it may be heavier from the old one. Now let's install it back. Now that we have it mounted, the next step is a very easy step, which is a better piston seal. You can see here we have some gaps, and it's not hard to fix. You just need to put this over, and it may not look good, but that's the part I have. And that's it for this mod, and let's go to the next one.
so now the next month we'll be swapping the small room for a bigger one and that's done now we have a better bowl and we'll also have to put our valves here here is it Now that I have 18 hands, I'll have to demand a part of the block. And now I'll glue it there. Now, the next thing we'll have to do is to, is to swap this throttle for the new one and that won't be easy have our throttle and now we can also install back the valves so let's do it Now the rockers and the push squad. Now that we have everything done, let's put it back on one man assembly. Now that the engine is ready, let's run it.
watching. As you can see, we have a big upgrade from 540 to 650 RPM. About the price, the engine itself, a real engine, would cost this. The piston would cost this. The valve seals I made myself, so we haven't a uh, real actual price, just as the rocker support. And but for the flywheel, it would be this. The piston seals also don't have uh, an actual price, and the throttle would be this. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing and bye bye.